Okay, now. <laughs> lessons, lessons, and tests, and whatever else we're going to be presented with today. Interesting what we do as creator beings. What will I be presented with? What else will I be presented with? Okay. <laughs> um, this is punting. Okay? Interesting. Like we said earlier, uh, Jackie, uh, the speaker that was to present earlier, is uh, having health issues. And she is at the doctor. And they are running tests. And we kept thinking, well, if we push it back, push it back, push it back, maybe she can be here. And finally, we just said, okay, let's just, <laughs> let's just call it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and punt. <laughs> and they came in and they said, go for it. We will guide. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> So, it's been interesting lately what they've been doing when they guide. Oh, so, anyway, okay. Um, like I said earlier, we are sending Jackie lots of love. And we will let her come whenever she is ready. Okay? But her book is fantastic. How many have it yet? The Zodiac Recipe. Okay? And uh, Sherry did a wonderful, wonderful review on it and please definitely get it. It is a wonderful book. She did wonderful um, work on it. She was consumed and with mating, okay? <laughs> For lack of a better word. Uh, PhD in, in how people pick their mates. And so that's what led her into that field eventually into astrology and, and compatibility. So it's wonderful and to see how people do that and how the signs all work together. So it's really fascinating. Excellent book and how the signs all work together. So I look forward to when she does come here. So let's send her lots of love and light. Okay? All right. Okay, so my guidance and actually, it's pretty appropriate, duh, okay, for on the tail end of Sherry's and Garnet's because it's about your path and everything that goes along with it. They talked about things that all the things that you're doing and they're talking about your authentic life and, and all the messages that you get. Well, this is here. I get pictures. Garnet was giving you pictures, right? And Sherry was talking about some of the ways they talk to you and then that's what they do with me all the time. They're always giving me pictures. And so and then I draw them for you and I give you wonderful drawings <laughs> because I'm such a wonderful artist. Right? Yeah. How many have seen my drawings? Yeah. <laughs> and those of you that haven't, you're in for a treat. <laughs> um, how many do not know my stuff? And it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a little bit about, about my stuff. Okay. Um, one, I'm Dolores' daughter. One of Dolores' daughter. I'm the second daughter. And... Um, what happened as I was working with her in um, some of the classes? I mean, I used to, just as many of you, I used to get hunches. That's how we get things, and, but we don't pay attention to that. And um, things would happen, you know, I'd just get hunches of things. And I used to read tarot cards. Okay, and I would, I would play with reading palms too because my mother re re would read palms. And so I'd like, 
okay, well, that's cool. Teach me how to do that. And so I'd, I'd do that with her, and okay, well, that's cool, right? No, oh, that's fun. And then she would read cards. Okay, well, that's cool. Teach me how to do that. How do we do that? Okay. So we learned together, and we were doing all these things together. That's what we do, right? Teachers, teachers teach us all the time. We're always curious. Okay, well, that's cool. And so I'd try to do it too, and, and I was never as good as mom. Okay, she was always better than me. <sighs> Anyway, but I always needed the book. Mom never needed the book. I always needed the book. Anyway, so one, sometimes I was doing the cards and, and I was just trying to do it without the book and I always just got some, some gut instinct. I just knew some things, you know? I just I was like, well, I feel this. And I just said some things. I thought, well, I don't know why I'm saying that, but I'm just saying it. I don't know why. The book doesn't say that, but I just feel this. And the person like, how did you know that? I'm like, I don't know. I just felt that. I'm like, but pretend you didn't hear that. You know, I don't know where that came from. And then I just left it alone. And then little by little, you know, and that was back when I used to call psychics all the time. I needed my answer. <laughs> I needed my answers, yes. And when I would call psychics, they were telling me the exact same things that I was starting to get because I was feeling them or I was, I was getting impressions because little by little I was hearing things or I was just knowing things. And I'm like, but I already knew that. And they said, oh, well, of course you knew that. And I'm like, well, then why am I calling you? Well, we don't know. <laughs> I wasted a lot of money back then. <laughs> you know, and how many, anybody relate to this? Yeah. It's okay, yeah, exactly. Hey, this is the path of waking up. Okay, and it's, I'm, I may be saying exactly what Sherry said. I was out for a part of her time, okay? That's okay, it's okay to admit to it. It really is. Um, but that's part of what you do. It's part of realizing that you actually know things, okay? It starts with hunches, and it starts with just some other things happening. It starts with some knowings, and then, hmm, then you get confirmations, okay? So these people were telling me, yeah, you, you, yeah, you know things, sure you know things. Of course you have the answers. All right, so then I stopped calling the psychics because I didn't have any more money, one, but two. <laughs> I knew it, yeah. I started realizing, okay, I don't need that. Okay. So, little by little, like I said, I was in the classes then. Now, I'm, now let's jump forward. Now I'm in the classes with mom. And I'm, I can now hear. I can hear messages. I now am starting to trust what I'm hearing. And this is going on and on. So I hear them, I'm trusting them, and now they're telling me things. And um, so they're telling me, you need to do these different things. And in this one class, they were giving me drawing. And in the class, she was talking about this part that they are working with. And in the classes, if you know Dolores' work, you know that she talks about they work with this big, wonderful, this all-knowing power. And the class was having difficulty understanding what that was. And they gave me a drawing. And I mean, or this, this beautiful vision. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. I get it, that's wonderful. And they're like, draw it. I'm like, no, I get it, I get it. And they're like, draw it! <laughs> they're like that too. Has anybody ever had them yell at you? Yes. Yes, thank you for raising your hand. Come on, you can be honest, yes. We get yelled at. Yes, they will yell at you. Yes, just like they will do all the other things. They will yell at you when you need it, <laughs> okay? They give you that stern, authoritative tone. <laughs> and so I drew it, and there were reasons for it. But anyway, but that was some of the things, okay. And that's where I drew, made that drawing, and that explained everything, and that's... The others have seen that drawing, and that's from talking about this. They know my drawings, okay? It, it's, but what I like to say is they don't care who they give drawings to. 
They don't care who they give assignments to. They don't wait to give a drawing to. They don't wait to give it to an art artist. They don't say, oh, I have to wait for someone with those abilities to come along. They don't wait. They don't, uh-uh, that doesn't, mm. Mine looks like a second grader hen scratched it. You know, it's just, they don't care. But I think that's part of that is because that way it can relate. Anybody can relate to it, okay? Because if it was a beautiful artistic thing, somebody might say, well, of course you can do it, but I could never do something like that. You know, but if I do it, you can all go, well, oh yeah, I can do that. Of course I can do that. <laughs> you'll, you'll all be able to see that in a minute here, okay? I'm not going to do that drawing that was given to me. I'm going to do another one that was given to me. Okay, this is the second one that was given. This one was given a little bit later and we were trying to decide in the class when it was given and that's the funny thing about messages is you actually forget them after they're given. <laughs> you don't hold on to them. They just come, they come through, especially when you get messages for other people, you don't hold on to them, they're given and you give them and they're released, okay? So it's done, but this came and it's just something I do. I, I deliver it one way for the classes and I deliver it another way for talks like this because they have different purposes. So um, anyway, what I want to do here is bring in the message of very similar to what Sherry and Garnet were doing as far as our paths and our journeys through life, okay? So those of you that were just in the class or who have seen this before, no cheating, okay? <laughs> the others of you that have not seen this, what, what do you think that is? Hmm? Different paths? Different paths? No, well, maybe, sort of, okay, maybe. Anybody else? This is interactive, I liked it, my, my talks are interactive. Just yell it out. A maze. You mean it actually looks like that? Are my drawings getting better? Oh, you picked it up in, oh, okay, intuitively. It is a maze. Amazing that it looks like one. <laughs> That's what it is. It is a maze. Everybody knows what a maze is. Right? Those things with the really tall walls. I know when we look at them in the games, they're the things where you go in, you know, the objective of the maze is to, let's do it with the green. Oh, let's do the blue. You go in one area and the object is to come out somewhere else, right? And you have to figure your way through it, right? Yes, okay, you're with me? Okay, right. I like interaction. I don't talk to you. I talk with you. <laughs> okay? All right. So we go in one end and we come out the other. And we have to work our way through there. That's the idea of a maze. Correct? Yes. Wonderful. You're with me now. Okay, great. All right. Well, and in... And um, when you're on this level, the 3D level, they have really, really high walls that you cannot see over, right? right. Yes. So you don't know where you're going. Right. Okay. So we all have the wonderful picture of it. Okay. Now, this is, let's look at it this way. This is your blueprint when you came into this life. You made a blueprint. Remember they were talking about, like Garnet was talking about, you had a life plan? Yes. You had the, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you sat down with that 
that board or that council and you made a plan and you had all that meeting and you had all the, see, that's what these walls and everything are. That's part of your plan. Oh. You had all these things set in place for yourself. That's your plan. This is your blueprint that you set in place for yourself. Okay? You have experiences that you want to have. You have things that you want to do. You have things that you would like to accomplish. Okay? Because this is the, lar the bigger part of yourself is dropping down a piece of itself into what I like to call little me. That's this consciousness that's here in this plane, having this experience called life. Okay? And it's, this is what it's hoping to accomplish, what it wants to accomplish. That's why it had that planning session with all those souls, set everything into place, and what it's hoping to accomplish and what it wants to do. Okay, so here we go. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna set about on this journey. So, dun da dun da da dun dun da dun da da dun da here we go. And we get into it, and we're so excited. We're having fun. Yay, we're partying, we're having experiences, yes! And we're having so much fun, and we're meeting our people, and we're having all of our wonderful experiences, right? And we're encountering all of our wonderful things, and getting all of our things done, and we're partying, and we're having our jobs, and we're getting our cars, and our houses, and our money, and our whatever, anything. All the wonderful things, right? And we're doing our things. Oh, la, 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 la. Wonderful, yay! Yay, we're wonderful, happy, funny, happy, wonderful times, right? And then we start having, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh. How do you get out of that? Uh oh. 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 Uh Oh, yeah, I can't leave that, ugh. <laughs> yeah, forgot how to dream. <laughs> can't have fun anymore. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh, just hitting walls and just, ugh. I might as well just give up. And how many people do? They just get stuck. And how many of us have actually, yeah, we just get stuck. Mm-hmm, I see lots of hands going really high up. <laughs> yes. And See, that's what happens. We, we were having all of our fun things. We were doing it. We were, we were having our experiences. We were on course. We were doing it, but then we got off course, okay? Now, that's fine. It's just we got off course. That's all. <laughs> I need some help. Well, guess what? As Garnet and Sherry both were telling you, you've had guidance the whole time. You were getting messages the entire time. But we just don't listen, do we? When we are 
in these, actually all the time, what I was told is we get messages constantly. In fact, the way they say it is constantly, constantly. That's exactly how they say it, constantly. Constantly, we are constantly delivering messages. Constantly, constantly, constantly. Constantly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly, constantly. <laughs> so, and this, when you think, when you look at this from this perspective, I love this because this is a drawing and it was like, this is so cool that they gave me this because when you think about it, this is exactly the perspective that the larger part of you has, okay? This is what they see all the time. They can see this. This is, they know what you came in to do and this is how they see you, all right? So they can see where you are and what it, where you are on your path and what you're trying to do. So, when they've been trying to communicate to you, they're like, oh, okay, you're a little off here, you're, you know, you need to move here, whatever, you need to go here. And they, they're const constantly trying to deliver those messages, trying to steer you, whatever, just do something differently. So, if, let's just think about some of these different ways that they may be trying to deliver messages, just everyday messages, okay? Just throw out some things of the different ways that they may be trying to deliver these messages because they're just trying to talk to you. If you do not hear them, what are some of the ways that they may just try to talk to you? Lose Say that? Lose something. Lose something? How? Drop your watch or... How is that a message? Okay, how would that be a message? Okay, okay, so lose something. Let's make that in black, okay? Lose, oh, let me I'll just say lose, okay? All right, what else? Okay, I'm gonna write that down here. Accidents. Anything else? Dreams. Anything else? Attraction. 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 Um, Okay, what else? In, okay, intuition. <laughs> here comes my, my this is, somebody else is saying it looks like hieroglyphics by the time I get done here. <laughs> you were Egyptian. I think I was. I, in fact, I know I was, sorry. <laughs> okay, what else? Music. Music, yes. All right, you turn on the radio. And there's a song playing the lyrics. Exactly what you needed to hear, okay? What else? Red birds. Red, red birds, what's the thing, right? What else? Books, yes. Okay, like other people. We'll just call it other people. How about that? Where was that? Who is it? Okay, yes. I'll just call it people, okay? What else? Anything else? Yeah, yeah, books is there, even though you can't tell what it says. <laughs> Numbers, okay, I'm gonna put that here like that. What else? Okay, driving, how would that be? So would that be like intuition? Okay, all right, so we're up here. I think I have that on here. Into it. You can't read it, but it's on there, okay? <laughs> all right, what else? Okay, what about nature? Okay, we'll just say, want to say animals? How, or no, we'll just say nature, okay? Somehow they will deliver messages, okay? Okay, what else? That was it. It's up here with, na with illness, okay? There's one that I'm looking for. It's a major one. Come on. It's up here. <laughs> What's that? 
Meditation, well, that's how it usually that'll come th to, through these other ways, okay? Well, I will go ahead and, because we're going <laughs> to... I, I heard somebody say it, actually. Signs. And I love this one because so many times people will say, I wish somebody would give me a sign. I wish you'd give me a sign. Would somebody please give me a sign? Will you please give me a sign? And all over the place. Do you ever, have you ever seen where there are big, brand, big neon signs even sometimes that there's a sign and sometimes there's arrows. Go! <laughs> that way! That way! You know, I mean, there's signs, signs everywhere. Have you seen them like that? You've seen signs? Well, they're saying, you have seen signs. Okay, <laughs> all right. Signs. And, and it's wonderful. And then they're neon even. I mean, it's just like, you can't escape. There are signs everywhere. I mean, they're like, will somebody give me a sign? And then you turn on, okay, they're saying, okay. And Sherry's talk. Facebook, they'll even communicate through Facebook. The computer, you turn it on, there it is. So another one's the computer. And you have the TV. You have everywhere they're communicating. Anything that you can use as a communication channel, okay? So just be aware because they are communicating how or when. Yeah. Yes, constantly. <laughs> exactly, constantly. <laughs> just a matter of being aware. Just pay attention because there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything, whoa, really? Whoa, everything, really? <laughs> they want to stand on record saying everything is a message. Wow, okay, all right. We'll stand on record saying everything is a message. All right. Wow. Okay. Then, there you go. Then that means really pay attention. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, then that goes into David Rivenus's talk. <laughs> So, okay, that's, that's wonderful. That's foreshadowing for you, okay? <laughs> All right, so now, so there they have been giving messages this way all along. And so any time you can go, you know what? I'd like to hear you. I can hear you. And at any time you can. It's perfectly easy. You saw what I just did. Hey, what? Yeah, there they are. Okay? And actually, it's not so much hearing as a knowing. It's just, you just know some, it, you just know. I didn't really necessarily hear. It's kind of like the hearing and knowing. It's, it's like, who, I'm trying to think who even said it. It's like you hear an idea. It's like knowing an idea, and that's pretty much what it is. And so some people are like, I want a definition, I want to know exactly what it is. is. Am I hearing somebody talk in my ear? That's probably how it maybe was in the beginning, but then eventually it, you realize it's actually more of an idea. Okay, if it truth be known, it's more of an idea. And you, so if that helps any, but you just trust it. You just, you ask, you ask a question, and you get an answer. And the more you start trusting it, because she asked if it comes on suddenly, and it comes as answers to questions. What did the Bible say? Because there is truth in the Bible. What did the Bible say? Ask and you shall receive. You have to ask. You ask and you get answers. Everything starts with asking. So that's what starts it. You ask a question, you get an answer. You will get an answer. I promise. 
You will get an answer. If you don't hear it only because you don't think you can hear, you will get it through one of these other ways until you believe that you can hear it. Okay? And until you realize how it comes, then in, it, in the trusting, and like I said, until you realize that it's a knowing or it's an idea or it's a whatever, it's a, it's a gut, and then it gradually moves to the trusting and the others, then you'll keep getting this other way and you'll have people confirming. Like I said, I was getting it through these other things and people said, well, you already know. And I said, well, yeah, I already knew this. Well, of course you already knew this. Well, yeah, see, that's how it works. And you gradually trust and trust and trust and it keeps strengthening that muscle. It's a muscle that you're building and developing called your connection. They gave a very powerful message in the class that we just had. I won't, they don't want, they have no intention of coming through. I don't think, <laughs> but they did in the class. And what they said was, so it is time for us to become our own channels. Enough of this stuff of going outside and playing little and playing weak and playing like we don't get it. We're pretending. We, exactly. <laughs> Actually, they said, you know better than that, applaud louder. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, yes, they mean it. Applaud louder. <laughs> Not for me, for what they said. It is time. They, actually, they were, yeah, it, they said it's a bunch of crap, actually, that people are pretending that they, see that's exactly what they're, oh, I just don't get it, you know, I just don't, huh? And they said every single person on the planet hears them. Every single person. But they pretend that they don't. Yeah, wow. So, and every single person You know, and it's not getting down anybody. It's just you don't, you don't understand. That's all it is. If you're not hearing them, it's just not understanding how it works. And so, and we, and we just, we're so used to going outside of ourselves or not, not understanding how, that's a big thing. It's not understanding how it works. So, or, or, or used to somebody else, they're saying fixing everything. See, that's what they're saying. It's just, we have to go to ourselves for the answers. And that's what they were saying in the class. They said, it's time to do this ourselves. No more. I mean, you, can, you, you will get your confirmations, and that's what all of this stuff really is just confirmation for yourself. Now it'll be used for confirmation. You will get a hunch, and then you'll get your confirmation. Okay? You will get something else and then you'll get your confirmation. All of that will be strengthening your muscle. See how that'll work? And then that'll just be building you stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And so what that does is it builds your trust. All of that was to develop the trust. It's always building your trust because it's about your connection. You build your connection. It's not about trusting outside of yourself. It's we have to build our connections. That's what they were always saying. That's the most important thing is build your connections. That's why all these books are written. All these things are written. That's what they're all saying. That's basically what they're saying, is you have to go, you have all the answers, you have, that's basically what they're saying, in a nutshell. And people go, well, I just don't know. Yeah, you do. And they're just saying, really, now, cut the crap. You do. 
and they're getting to where they're like, you don't have time. <clears throat> you don't have time anymore to play games. Yeah, exactly. And I guess that's kind of what the others are saying too about living your authentic self, really. Cut the crap. I mean, <laughs> they're just, they're not mincing words anymore, you know? And <clears throat> so, okay, so when, how many have had the hit by the two by four? Oh yeah, how about, <laughs> mine was a, six, a 10 by six, you know? That just means you're just super stubborn, you know? It means if you're getting that much, <laughs> that means, you know, you were, okay, be honest with yourself. If you got hit two by four, 10 by six, 20 by whatever, because, you know, when it's your own story, you always think it's a much bigger piece of wood, right? You know, <laughs> mine was really big. <laughs> so. Yours was a truck, well see, yeah, absolutely. Yours is a much bigger thing. Yes? I planned it. You planned it, absolutely. Okay, well, okay. When yours happens, uh, where was I going with that? Okay, if you will be honest with yourself, were you getting messages beforehand? Yes, yes. And were you listening? No. <laughs> In my case, I was going, why should I do that? <laughs> and I mean, I was trying. And then I was like, well, I get it, but this is really more comfortable. Or um, I'll try it your way, but this is really more comfortable. I'll stick my toe in it over there, but this is really more comfortable. I'm making more money over here and I really don't know how that's gonna work. This is really more comfortable. And then there was like this point of no return. It was like, Big Me's going, hey, we had things we wanted to accomplish. We had a plan. Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember that little counseling session that we had? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then it's going, you're running out of time. And in order for us to get this done, we have got to get you out of here and back on track. And so we gotta get out of here and jump over here and get you moving again. And so that's why they usually have to, you, it's just get you unstuck and they have to get you out of that place. And so they hit you with those two by fours, 10 by sixes, mag trucks, whatever, is to get you out of that space and get you on the right track again. Okay? That's all it is. You're not the victim, because who made this plan? You did, because who is, who is this bigger part of you? You. <laughs> so you're not a victim. This is you making this plan. You with your, your tribe, your team, yeah, your council. So you had something you wanted to accomplish. You had major things you wanted to do. That was it. So if you're getting messages, it's just trying to keep you on track. Now, as you'll see, like in, in my book, Soul Speak, that's where it gets into the health issues. If you, I believe if you're getting to health issues, then, because when it gets to the body, that's just when you've really not been listening to these other messages. And so it's got to go to a message system that's with you 24 seven. And that's the body. Because it's saying, hey, you're not listening to any of these things. We can't get your attention, so we're gonna have to go to something that maybe, possibly, you'll listen to. The body. And it's a wonderful message system. Wonderful messenger. Because what will definitely get your attention if nothing else will? Pain. Pain will get your attention. 
But all too often, what do we tend to do with pain? Take a pill, Take a pill or run to the doctor. Okay, but it does get our attention. Okay, now, so that's where it's like, okay, but it is trying to deliver a message. And then after the body, and we can go into what the body is trying to deliver, but my main message today is that the body is a messenger and it is trying to deliver messages if you are having health issues. After the body, come to me, what I think are the messages of last resort, and that would be what we had up here, down here, the accidents. If you find yourself getting into accidents, that's where you're not listening to anything else, and you are probably are finding that you're having health issues too. I mean, you've not been listening to anything. Okay, and they're having to just, <laughs> you know, what will you listen to? So they're probably, that's where they're having to come outside of you now and, and hit you with other things. So, so it must be something that's really important if they're having to get accidents now too. Okay, so they're having to, you think about accidents. They're having to push you and steer you. Okay, that makes sense? Yeah, so they're just messages. They're just messages to get you in the right direction, to get you back on path, or to tell you something. They're just trying to get you back on track with your thoughts, your attitude, your direction, something. Something is off. Something is off. Okay? And it's just you trying to talk to you about what you wanted to do. Okay. okay, that is really what they wanted to tell you today. Now see how they do not give pictures to artists. <laughs> That's my hand scratch. Okay, um, if anybody has any questions, that's, that is really the message that they wanted to deliver today. So, I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.